Hi, my name is Stephanie Gatnick with Outfront Media. And I'm Matt Prohaska, CEO and Principal at Prohaska Consulting. And Matt and I are both on the OAAA's programmatic committee. So today Matt has agreed to join us to answer a couple questions about programmatic out of home. You ready to go, Matt? Ready to go. Thanks, Stephanie, and to OAAA for having me. Absolutely. So first and foremost, Matt, I'm really curious to get your opinion about the elimination of third-party cookies and changes to Apple's IDFA. How does this um, take on consumer privacy help or harm the out-of-home industry? Yeah, it's easy to assume that because of all the changes happening to a phone or to a laptop, that the out-of-home industry is going to be uh, running scot-free uh, scot uh, in this area. But really, there are some uh, things that uh, would bring up a little bit of pause for concern and that the out-of-home industry needs to be aware of. There are plenty of great location providers that are putting uh, key data attributes into uh, the ecosystem for buyers and sellers to attach to these great screens all around the world. That we just want to make sure that from a consumer privacy standpoint, those providers have the proper methodology. It's opt-in uh, where it needs to be. Uh, for example, in Europe, of course, and in California in the U.S. right now, potentially throughout the rest of the U.S., potentially in Australia. We know there are at least 15 countries with active or already on the books legislation around consumer privacy when it comes to digital, digital advertising. So very key to be in touch with not just your own uh, legal counsel internally there, if you're a buyer, seller, or tech company, but also uh, making sure you vet those tech uh, partners appropriately to ensure that they're going to be on the right side of history and that they're allowed to still do what they're going to, uh, what they are doing now and what they're going to be doing going forward as this, as this various legislation rolls out. It should be a net positive though, because again, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the tracking, the personalization has not been really tied to this third party cookie that's been really at the core of display and mobile web and in-app programmatic advertising. So it should be a net benefit to everybody. I agree. I like the idea of personalization at scale and out of home based on context. Yep. What about measurement and attribution? How do evolving best practices, in your opinion, in these fields help out of home increase its rightful share of spend? Yeah, it'll be huge. Um, I mean, we've said for years that one of the reasons why Google, Facebook, and Amazon have been just crushing it globally and continuing to capture not just a share of the so-called digital advertising pie, but the total advertising pie is because they have two things in spades that thousands of others don't. And that's identity, deterministically, meaning they know exactly who's coming into their publishing platform, as well as their own measurement and attribution. So uh, you know the expression grading their own homework. They actually, a couple of them actually bought third-party measurement companies about seven, eight years ago. And so the, that third-party arbiter that television has had with Nielsen for five decades plus, and that digital has had to a certain degree with Nielsen CompScore and others, really hasn't uh, been able to uh, have a, a strong enough foothold. And, and frankly, the respect of buyers and sellers independently across the whole industry. And so you have really a, a tale of two, not cities, but really ecosystems where you have walled gardens with their own measurement practices and methodologies and saying, hey, we should get attribution for all of these conversions because clearly we did this and we did that. And nobody else really has been able to prove it any better. And so fortunately, as more and more brands with their agency partners start to move past the methodology of last click, last touch, which was, it's still easy to do. And that's what why a lot of folks, frankly, are a little lazy about tracking that way and keeping score that way. Well, obviously, the out-of-home ecosystem is a little bit tougher to be able to track that unless you're able to do last touch going into a store or going into any other type of event as we continue to uh, gradually and then eventually throughout 2021 get out, uh, of course, more in public and in events and in retail to be able to get the cha-ching and conversions that we all know out of home has been responsible for for decades. But fortunately, if we, if we start educating the buy side better around adapting new independent um, incrementality methodology and cross media channel measurement, then frankly, it'll be easier to keep score fairly among all, uh, among all, not just individual publishers and broadcasters, but really across all various media channels. Media planners will finally have justification to what we think on a home should be getting at least 10% of global media spend, not in the three to 8%, depending on the country that you're in, uh, that it's been uh, really stuck in undeservedly for years. So Matt, 
um, viewers need to appreciate how you've just condensed years worth of reading material into a snack break about these two very big topics. So thank you so much for your opinion and your take. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, appreciate it, Stephanie. And thanks again to the OAAA.